Hi, this is Darwin, and welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. In this video series, I'm showing you how to build Stampy's lovely world. And in the last video, we finished up the rocket. There it is. It looks awesome. It just looks perfect sitting there in, in, our, in our Stampy world that we've built here from scratch. And uh, we're sitting here. Whoa! <laughs> I, for I forgot the donkey was there, and I had my back to it. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> He's smiling for the camera. Good job, buddy. Uh, maybe we should give you a name, too. And that horse is, yep, that horse is still sitting over. You guys are just, are you stuck here or something? Like, you just don't, like, move from these spots. I mean, you know, really, just, just, just move or something. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so the, the build went really well, I, I thought, overall. Uh, except for my big blunder with only having three stripes of white uh, when there should have been four. Uh, so that's all fixed and uh, someone did comment they the comment went something like you built it wrong and that was it there was no elaborations so if you do have uh, uh, comments and corrections for me please be specific and uh, if possible give me video numbers to look at and if even really even better um, the time number that I can look at uh, some of you do that and it's really helpful today uh, I want to add a couple of people uh, four people to my uh, love garden uh, right over here, we have got uh, the first two people here. This is Ahmad Al Mashni uh, and Matthew Mangum. Uh, these two people uh, both contributed to a, a, not a correction, but uh, there's a change in Stampy's Only World. These are the first two people to tell me. And the reason I'm including both of them is one of them told me. Uh, I think Ahmad actually told me about the change, and Matthew uh, told me a video number to look at in order to see the change. So that was. Uh, both very helpful. So, and that change being is that uh, Googly Island is now called Googly Hill, uh, and several people have commented since then. But uh, this is the uh, these are the two guys that were were in there first. Uh, Menacing Seagull, Menacing Seagull uh, alerted me the very first person of several that the fire truck door, the le the little lever, uh, I don't have levers on me right now. The lever on the fire truck door that was up high. Let me show you over here. Mm -hmm. I already corrected it, so we should be over, over here. The very first lever uh, he puts down on this block here, but actually uh, now in later videos you see that they're both um, up here on this second one, uh, the, the top block here. So that's great. Good to know, and it makes a lot of sense. It certainly should have, one way or the other, been changed. Either that one should have come down or the other one uh, up, but I think up looks good. Uh, and the other name you saw on there was Lego Ezra Man X, and um, he was the first Lego. Lego was the very first person of again many many people that. Uh, oh, hello, Esther. I'm glad you're sticking around this time. I guess it's because I kept the door closed. Uh, that mentioned that this torch has moved up and. I don't know if that's a permanent thing or what, but we're, we're going to leave it there because it seems to be sticking around uh, in the videos that I've seen. So we're so just move it from there to there. I don't know but how important is it. I don't, I don't really like it up there, to tell you the truth. I think it's, it looks a little better down here, but uh, maybe it does kind of clutter up this sort of area. I don't know. I, I'm sure it, it probably wasn't that thought out. Everything else is at you know, this level. So anyway, uh, there used to be a sign over here that was a, a new sign and then... That one's gone, so I hesitated to actually change that, but eh, we're, we'll go with it for now. We'll go with it for now, and if it changes again, well, by golly, guess what? We're gonna let me know, and we'll change it again. Uh, and as you can see, si uh, you know, when we did the last video, the the uh, hatches are now here on the side of the thing, and you can uh, we already have uh, attributed that to uh, a, a viewer, so we're we're good to go there. So. Uh, all right, so what are we on here? We are on the balloon. Uh, we're going to go right over to this spot over here, and as it turns out, I didn't realize, I, I think I, I don't remember if I mentioned this in the video or not, we do need to add just a teeny tiny bit of terrain here. Um, I'm not sure exactly why he picked this spot to, to do it on, rather than like over here or somewhere more in the middle of that area, but nevertheless, this is where it is. Um, this this train here is, is fine so from here you've got this you've got this one piece here that's three blocks uh, and you're going to want to put it right there on the third block in so one two three just put a piece of glowstone there because that is actually where, what we're going to start with uh, there's a piece of glowstone right in the bottom of it but what I want to do first is to um, let's build this out just a little bit 
So in order to make this look correct, is we're going to add two blocks to the front here so that this front part is not going to be five. Uh, we're going to add one in here. We're going to add two in here. So it just leaves this little corner here. And, um, and, and that's, that's, that's the minimum we have to do. That, that makes it so the top part is, is now correct again. And uh, from what I can tell, it's, it's, I don't have any really, really good views of this angle over here. I got it from above for a couple of times. But it, was, it was still kind of hard to see. So this, this will mean maybe remain a bit of a mystery until we get uh, some better angles. But even so, it's fine. It doesn't really you know, look terribly weird or anything like that. So we're just going to leave that as is. And uh, although there is one correction over here, if I can point out, we want to, I don't know if this changed recently or what but right over here let's see see this see this empty block of two here uh what we want to do is um how do i want to explain this we're going to use on the third block from there we're going to we're going to knock that one out like that and we're going to knock this one out like that and then we're going to knock this middle one of this part out like this so that's that's that part down there where the tree is so you're going to knock, you know, there's the three blocks. Just knock that middle one out. And over here, just knock those two corners out. And uh, and that's that's it. Everything else everything else is, is unchanging. You'll see that if you watch his video building this thing, that uh, that's just a little bit different looking now. I, I, don't, I don't know how purposeful that was or whatever. But anyway, so now we've got this, uh, this glowstone block here. So what we're going to do is add some upside down stairs on each side of it. And uh, the best way to do that is don't don't point down because uh, if you do that, obviously the stairs are going to go that way. But if you point more towards the top of the block, uh, they should turn upside down on you. And uh, so we're just going to go around here, put all this on there. Kind of switched a little bit. Uh, now, oh, you know what I'm going to get? I'm going to grab some temporary block, my favorite, of course, diamond. And uh, what we're going to do is this is going to sound kind of crazy, but just go all the way around this thing and just surround each block with something some material that we're going to get rid of later uh, just make sure it goes all one at least one block out in every uh, direction and uh, this will make it easier to build this next part here because what we're going to do is uh, otherwise those kind of have to build this in the air uh, so we're going to take stairs we're going to leave like this flat part here and we're going to put stairs on each of the four sides out here like that and then we're going to also put stairs let's see how do i i'm going to orient, my, orient myself a certain way uh the rocket is to my left and i'm going to put stairs here and here and then i'm going to turn around and put them two in the opposite direction as well like that and like that uh, okay so then right on top of these other pieces i have here we're going to put full um, planks of oak this is all oak you probably figured that part out. This is all oak here. And there we go. That is uh, the basic shape for the gondola. So now I can just knock this out of here carefully. And wow, the grass is already dying under here. Looks, uh, there we go. Uh, there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that's weird. Did I miss it? Did I, did I knock out a block there? Hold on a second. Let me dig back here a little. Oh, yeah, I guess I did. Okay, there we go. All right, so now that's restored. Okay, so we we got some uh, decorations to add to the outside of this. Now um, he has uh, ladders and the hatches uh, around different parts of this. Uh, so what I want to do is just start on this side and see so the ladders. Uh, they go on this side here that's facing the rocket, and then on the opposite side, this and this. And then the hatches, they go on all the sides, right on the ends of each one. Um, doesn't matter if you put them on top or bottom, it ends up being the same. Um, right there and there. And there's no other ladders on here, so it's just those. And really, in order to use them, you have to kind of hop up uh, to kind of get it started. But um, there we go. He doesn't use any kind of sandbags, but I guess there's not, I don't know, what you would use in place of sandbags to hold you down but in the minecraft building world i don't know so anyway so there we go there that's our that's our gondola easy peasy lemon squeezy is what i heard i hear a lot of easy peasy lemon squeeze that's the only really other one that uh the other phrase that people were commenting on 
besides my lemon uh what did i say easy peasy rice and cheesy i got that from that movie the robinsons uh okay so i should i should stop talking about that and start talking about what i'm doing we're going to add um fence posts uh to all the corners on here and i'm just going to kind of put one down just to mark them all there should be six all together pretty much anywhere there's a corner uh and these are going to be four four stacked four high so let's just uh let's do one there and i'm just going to go around do all four um yeah easy peasy lemon squeezy that seems to be the the other one uh and that's the one i've heard i've not heard any others so but keep them coming if you do have something other than lemon squeezy let me know i'm very curious or feel free to make one up you know get creative why not um got this up here is this right one two three four i hate stacking fence two three four yeah that's the right height two three four oh, oh. oh come on four all right here we go two three four okay so now all six of those are four blocks fences four fence posts high i guess you could say uh so now what we want to do is connect them uh just right let's just start with one end here and just 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 connect it straight across whoops start in the back and then easy there and then just put one on each side of that so uh we don't want to put any like here like that or in or in the middle here uh so it should look like this when you're done and then while facing the rocket and this is important face the rocket while you put the furnace in at the top uh that way the front of it will be facing in the right direction that's a nice little detail we can add uh for authenticity's sake okay so that's it now we're going to do the top part mm, yeah the top part is it's uh i don't want to say that it's hard but it, it did change uh from when he originally flew it and built it uh to the 300th video which is what i saw and uh it was remarked that um maybe it changed because after he you know to fly it to physically fly it and record his video he had to destroy it from his little spot and uh, perhaps when it was rebuilt it was built a little differently which could explain it i'm not sure if that's the reason why or whatever but it does look a teeny bit more full um than it did originally so orange wool we're going to do this in layers going to start at the bottom one and we'll work our way up uh so the first layer is just going to be a three by three area just put this in here nice flat like that and let's see then on top of that or it's a nice square on top of that we are going to build um let's see we're going to put a little line of wool down the middle and extend it out two in each direction and then on each side of that uh just do one row that doesn't quite reach the ends and then another one that doesn't quite reach uh the ends of that one and then put a little doodle right on the end of it okay that makes sense so this one should be three then that's one so this one should be uh one two three four five and then one two three and then one so we should have a something like this it's like kind of a kind of a sideways square i guess you could say okay so then the next layer uh, is also going to go kind of up and out so what we'll do is let's just start hmm Let's just start on top of one of the sticky out part, one of these, the furthest stick air, sticky out parts. How about that? Is it a scientific term? And then from there, we're just going to uh, kind of go along the edge here. We're going to, uh, remember how we did the left and right? You know, when we did this area, we did, you know, do left, right, left, right, left, right, alternating. Uh, it's the same technique here. Uh, although this time we're going to actually use right, left, right, left, right, left and this is what we're hoping for we want this new the new um blocks to just hang over the open areas there doesn't matter at all what's happening in here you can make this whole thing solid it doesn't matter so but here we want to have that that opening we want to have a block above it and uh in order to easily keep attaching them, we just kind of alternate left right left right or excuse me right left right left so right left right left right left and uh, because this is left and right the left side of the block right side of the block that's what i call it right left right left right okay and we're meeting up here so there we go that's that's uh that's good that's layer number three number four okay so we're going to take this and we're going to duplicate it uh but then we're going to add one more piece that sticks out kind of like this one did uh so let's just go first let's just stack this up 
uh, too high, which really you don't have to stack that one up high because you're not going to see it from inside. But just for ease of uh, instruction, we're just going to do all of them. And then one extra piece on each side. And one over here. Okay. So that's uh, layer number four, number five. From here, we're going to just, we're going to basically do exactly what we did in the layer before it. Uh, we're going to put, we're going to put one on top of the part that sticks out. And then we're going to do right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And again on this side, right, left, right, left. You should just kind of pull straight back. If you're at this angle, it, it works perfectly. Um, if you find you put a little too much on the outside, just take it off. You know, you just want to, you don't want to have like this happening. You know, having it be too much. You want to just one block hanging over the opening like that. I, I think I'm kind of over explaining this. I think you guys get it, but just in case, uh, I'm trying to be as helpful as I can here. I know sometimes I go a little slower than maybe you'd like, but uh, I want to keep everybody up to speed. Okay, so now what we're gonna do just like below. We want to. Oh no, I'm sorry. No, no, we don't put the we don't put the sticky out parts. Did I say that? I see we're gonna do it. No, we just want to do. Yeah, no, we just want to do a straight. Not <laughs> clearly this is not straight. Uh, just a, you know, a doubling up, not doubling up, but just adding, adding just up and out, uh, to this layer. So this is our layer, layer number five. Now the next one, uh, that's where we're going to double this whole thing. Uh, just add another layer, just like this on top. And, um, I guess I didn't do that one. That's okay. Don't worry. You don't have to do those. If you don't want to just do the ones that are visible. Uh, but he did have them in there. So if you want to go for more authenticity, I think that's probably, uh, the way to go there. So we're just going to double all these up and then we're going to stick one piece on each uh, flat side that's got three and like this here and oop, here and one over here. Okay. All right. That is layer number six. Number seven. Uh, basically like before, we're just going to put this is sort of the pattern. We're going to put one on the sticky out part and then just work backwards right left right left right left right left right each time gets just a little bit more uh, since it's getting a little bit bigger as a balloon do, do, left right oops too far now there uh, right oops hold on a second what's going on here why is this not working okay so yeah right left right left right left right left right and then one on the sticky outy and right left right left right left something's bumping into me right left there we go right okay so there we go all right that's layer number seven layer number eight is okay that's where this is where we're going to start well we're not we're still going out i guess um but we're going to do here's what we're going to do we're going to just first double this up right here um, it doesn't work doesn't matter on what side you do it on uh, and then just add let's let's keep going in the same direction we were so now we're going to add we're basically kind of add one more on the outside of this so this is again so put three down here and then do your right left right left right right left right left right oops and then bring this across so this is the original what's going on here why you, something is a miss here I uh, see now here's a good example of, of somebody who messed up I have got a double amount of wool that's over here this is not good here to get rid of all this for all that there we go see there much better I must have done left one I should have done right um, this probably should look like that uh, yep, that's good. All right, doesn't really matter in there, of course. Like I said, uh, okay. So, and yeah, let me let me kind of start over here, clean a little bit. Remember, just uh, from here, just add three on the top, and then do your right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and then just finish off those three. There's three there. Then that's where you ended up. Just finish off those three, and then do your right, lefts here. Hmm. 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 Okay, and just finish this up. Uh, let's see, this is a right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So, again, should just be one block sticking out under there like that. 
So I have this, and then we've got this area here, which is now this is five wide, and there's three, and then there's one right below it. And that is uh, that is layer number eight. Now the ninth, we are going to start ninth, tenth, and eleventh block uh, layers are all going to be the same as this. Uh, we're going to stack two rows of white on top of this, and then another stack of orange exactly like this. So we're just going to double this up. This is going to be like this. One layer here, one layer of white, and one layer of orange. And just you're just duplicating this layer that's below it. And you know, you don't you don't have to do the the inside parts if you don't want, but I think I am. So I'm going to go around here. And I'm going to put two layers of white and one layer of orange on top, and I'll be right back to you. Okay, so now so this is all nice and straight. This goes straight up and down. There's nothing, you know, it doesn't go in or out. It just goes around and around for those uh, four layers. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven. So now the twelfth row, twelfth row, no, twelfth layer. That's what we're going for. Layer. So the rest of this is all orange on top here. Uh, now this layer is uh, slightly unique in that we are going to need some torches uh, on this layer. Okay. So now this layer is, we're going to take, to go on one of the sides, and we're kind of doing the opposite, basically, than what we did down there. So we're going to put three brick, three, three blocks of wool right here, and then we we want to basically do the reverse of this, where we went out one block, because we, we wanted to have a block hanging out over into the air like that. This is going to be kind of the reverse. These These are actually going to be like this where we're going to leave you know one block exposed like that and then just kind of keep building up here so again we're going to put three you know let's just do this let's put three on each side first that way it won't get confusing hopefully and then in here we just really all you need to do if you built them if you built this like this really all you need to do is just kind of fill it in like that you don't really need these in between pieces but i'm going to put them in i'm, I'm going to suggest that you put them in only because each layer that goes up um you have to have something to build on and it's, it's a little easier if you do it that way uh, so let's see so we're just gonna build uh, build back with this do 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 carefully and over here no oh, there here we go and one inside there okay so on each side each corner you should have four you know from the previous layer you know, exposed on the corners like that okay now we are going to be putting some torches around here and basically they go uh, as you face each side just put them right here and right here um, so turn this way put them here and here on the on the side of the of the orange wool not like not like here in other words here's i can tell it's on the side uh so there we go Okay, and then there's one more torch at the very tippy top, but that's it. And uh, it's probably mostly just to keep Googly's from spawning up here. <laughs> That'd be, that would be my guess. Okay, so now, next layer up, 13. Looks like a 13. Basically, what we're going to be doing from this point up is um, wherever, you, wherever you have these three blocks that are on each side, what we're going to do is just build another three blocks right behind it like this. It doesn't matter if there's anything under it. Build these three around like that. Basically, we're going to be making these kind of steps. It's going to end up looking like steps kind of going straight up um, each side of this thing. Uh, and then we just fill in each corner, just leaving one, one block exposed. Uh, we can do it like that. So just leave, again, one block exposed like that. This is what we're going to do in the whole way up. It's, it's a simple pattern, I, I think. Um, da -da -da. We'll put that one in there, too. Uh, let's see from here we're going to do left, right, left, right, left, and left, right, left, right, left. Okay, so there we go. This is what it should look like now. You got three exposed here, you got four exposed right here, and we're going to keep doing the same pattern. We're going to put three blocks down on each side, just one, you know, one block in. One, two, three. One, 
two, three, and then just fill in our start. We don't have much to fill in up here. That one. We got uh, left, right, left. And left, right, left. There we go. All right, we're almost done. We are almost done. This is a quick build, huh? Quick build. Uh, all right, let's see. So the top looks like this now. Uh, so again, we're just going to go in one more. I think. Let me just double check here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, but there should be a total of four of these little kind of three block stairs kind of going up the sides. And one there. Put that in the middle. There we go. And as you can see, all four corners are, are touching at this point, so there's no there's nothing to put in between. Uh, except that what we're going to do is just fill this in completely and then all we have to do is put like the little crisscross like we did at the top of the rocket up here uh, on top there we go and one little whoops torch right in the middle and that let's just take let's peel back and take a look at this yep that's it that's the one there we go that was <laughs> that was all too easy now it's 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 all follows a pattern pretty much you know under here it was it was like, you know, we built a row and then we built a row out from it with a little sticky out part. We built the next row and built another part out from it and put the little, you know, little extra little nubs. And that helps us kind of fill it out just a little, just a little bit more. Let's, let's pull back and see how it looks. Oh, look at it with the rocket. See, now it looks officially stampy. Yeah. Yeah, no, I like the, I like the, um, the slightly bigger balloon. It just gives it a little bit better, uh, like a pointed shape underneath because you know hot air balloons are kind of like pointy at the bottom and really really rounder at top uh, and so this is a smaller balloon so you don't want to get too nuts with it so yeah this is great okay um, I have not yet decided what we're doing on the next video I, I'm, I'm leaning towards the bank because I have that done in my stampy uh, seed world and I can easily start uh doing videos on that and that one's gonna take it that one's gonna take a few videos so enjoy this while you can this was a nice quick easy build and we're gonna do something seriously uh, uh much longer it's probably gonna, i wouldn't be surprised if it's like six videos to do that bank because it's it's like building like three or four different buildings practically and yes there is a bunch of there's a bunch of redstone just trying to be quiet about that uh so yeah this officially finishes this peninsula there's nothing else to put here um there at one point there oof, there was a, a chest kind of over in this area but um there seems to be no longer in, in at least in from the 300 video and i think even when he flew the the balloon it was that way um but um yeah so this is finishes this and this basically finishes this side of stampy's world until he builds something else which um by the way it's, it's been mentioned that there's um there's trees over here now. I guess he planted some trees just to kind of fill it in. I don't know if he's ever going to put something back here, but I'd I'd be ashamed. He wasted, you know, he leveled a lot of ground for. I'm sure he's gonna he's got to put something there, right? I don't know. So anyway, so yeah, we're gonna do the bank. I think next. I think that would be logical since I have it built already, and it's the one thing I have completely built. Um, I do need to add on the extra. Um, the extra amount of dirt over here and the extra, the extra path that's one thing I need to do and I need to knock down this this thing I'm not gonna do that in a video I am gonna knock this thing down um, well I don't know I might keep it up until it just gets in the way who knows which isn't gonna be too long um, so once we do this bank and maybe maybe I'll even do the uh, clock tower uh, sometime soon after that I have to I haven't even attempted to to finish that one yet in my stampy uh, download seed because uh, that way as i mentioned before then we could have like this whole this whole edge done and then we can just start working in that direction and um it gives us a, a choice of doing something one of the old buildings or we can do one of the newer ones or one of the really really new buildings which i'm sure he's building over here that way it gives us gives us a variety of old and new things uh to build as we head towards um eventually towards the more towards the funland uh area so uh, let's see, where do we want to end this video? Well, I, we did the, the, the one at the top of the uh, rocket, so why not do this one at the top of the balloon? Well, thanks for watching. I'm Darwin68, and I'll see you next time. Bye!